there's only three places where you actually touch your bike, your bum, your hands, and of course your feet. And today we're looking at that third contact point. The right shoes can help make your riding immediately more comfortable and efficient. And here at Road CC, we've reviewed hundreds of pairs of shoes. I've trawled through the reviews to find which ones have scored the highest marks from our independent expert reviewers around the country. Here's six of the very best. And as always, you can't pay to be in this list. It really is our honest opinion. Scoring an impressive nine out of 10 and making it into Road CC recommends are the Giant Surge Pro shoes. This latest version have a refined sole shape, improved aesthetics, and plenty of cool color options. Although if you ask me, road shoes should always be white, at least during the summer anyway. According to our reviewer, the Surge Pro shoes maintain the awesome stiffness and performance levels of the previous versions, but are now even more comfortable. However, as with all shoes, we recommend trying before you buy because all of our feet are different shapes and not every brand got the how to size a cycling shoe memo. There's also a very similar women's version, that's the Live Maca Pro, so everyone can enjoy the class leading comfort and performance. That is if you're willing to cough up the pro level price tag, because these have an RRP of £300. Let's take a look at some of the less expensive options. If your budget has an upper limit but you still crave some serious performance, how about these Shimano RC7s? If you're not familiar with the Shimano's naming strategy, then you've got the RC9 at the very top, these RC7s in the middle, and then RC5s catering to the lower price point again. The latest RC702 version scored nine out of 10 from our reviewer, who was impressed with their low weight and stiff sole to aid power transfer. In fact, they went on to describe the RC7s as excellent all-rounders, with many of the features off the RC9, but for a much lower price. Speaking of price, these have an RRP of £189.99, but there's currently some cracking deals to be had on them. For example, they're currently on offer for £114.99 from Treads. You're getting a whole lot of shoe for that money. We reckon you'll be happy in these shoes for any riding scenario, from riding to work, to races, through to cafe rides and big days out, even multi-day tours. The uppers really impressed on the comfort front, breaking in straight away and feeling like slippers from the off. With two boa dials, you can get plenty of tunable tension, and whether you're an experienced rider or a newbie, these shoes are ideal and feel more expensive than they actually are. Before we take a look at the cheapest option on the list, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you're the first to see the latest bikes and kit reviews, and like this video if you're enjoying it so far. Despite the price of just about everything going up, rest assured you can still get a quality pair of cycling kicks for under 100 quid. These Bont Motion shoes would certainly be well up there on our shortlist with an RRP of 79.95. They do kind of look a little bit odd and don't come with the heat moldable tech you get on the higher end Bont shoes, but the entry level motion kicks are an absolutely great shout for those with wide feet in particular. Bonts are well known for their anatomical design and that supposedly means that the shoes are shaped more like a foot. So look a bit rounder than most cycling shoes. This being an entry level shoe, the sole is fiberless rather than carbon or anything fancy like that, but it does the job and provides impressive levels of stiffness. The sole doesn't feature any vents, but you do get some in the toe guard, which is the same as you'll find on other Bont shoes. This shoe offers loads of comfort and plenty of durability according to our reviewer, which makes them a great shout for cyclists of all levels who are on a budget. In fact, at the time of writing, you can pick these up for under £50 at numerous online retailers. Physique's Vento Stabilita Carbon Road Shoes bagged a Road CC Recommends Award and thoroughly impressed our reviewer with fully adjustable arch support. They're also the shoes that I choose to wear. These ones here. From the outside, these look like many other high-end road shoes with two BOA Li2 dials for micro adjustments and, well, some holes for ventilation. That'll keep your feet less clammy on the summer rides. However, turn them around and you'll notice the inside is unlike just about every other road shoe on the market, with these straps providing full adjustable arch support. And that's why these take our most innovative road shoes title. They're super stiff, which I find excellent at the end of a race, and they're also comfortable enough for long rides. The arch support and these grippers in here, in the heel, mean that you get a secure and snug fit without as much tension on the bowers, which for me results in day-long comfort. As with many innovative cycle products, these, they don't come cheap. In fact, they're the most expensive in physiques range with an RRP of £374.99. Mercifully, they can be found for less. For example, Merlin Cycles currently have them for 
224.99, still a lot of money. Obviously, that is a hell of a lot to spend on any piece of cycling equipment or clothing, but regardless of whether you want to spend that much or not, I would recommend investing some money in cycling shoes. They can genuinely transform your riding experience. That doesn't mean go out and buy the most expensive pair, but it does mean don't just buy the first pair you come across. Head down to your local bike shop and try some on. Another favorite metric of mine is pounds per mile. I'm gonna to have to explain that one. Something like shoes will likely get worn year round in all conditions and for every pedal turn you do on the bike. Therefore, in my mind at least, that makes them a much worthier investment than something like a rain cape, which only comes out for a few rides a year. The Boardman Carbon Road shoes might not be the flashiest out there, but they really did impress with their construction, specification and price. Oh, and the fact that they have a carbon sole despite the RRP being just £85. The shoes offer decent stiffness, are well vented, and the upper feels supple for plenty of comfort. You also get modern ratchet dials for accurate tweaking, courtesy of Atop rather than Boa. Overall, this is an uncomplicated, high quality shoe for a sensible price. The most powerful riders may find that the sole isn't the absolute stiffest, but it'll be more than fine for most of us. Silly expensive they may be, but if you want a slightly roomier fit than most high-end performance shoes might offer and are prepared to invest, then the S-Works Torch are excellent. Offering a secure and comfortable fit, our reviewer said these shoes will be stiff enough for the pros, and there's plenty of proof of that. Yet more likely to fit most of us mortals because of the wider fit in the mid and forefoot. Heel retention and comfort is superbly balanced, and Specialized used its own material in the upper that shapes itself to the foot nicely. Anchor points for the closure dials have extra support, as do the inner sides of the toe box. The only thing that isn't perfect is that the very pretty aluminium boa dials don't pull up to release, just like on these S-Work 7s. They don't pull up, but they do ratchet backwards, so it takes you slightly longer to get out. Maybe not ideal for a triathlon then. If you've looked through these and thought none of them are for you, then be sure to check out our reviews of tens of other shoes just this year over on the Road CC website. We're confident that there'll be something that fits the bill, including gravel, commuting, and touring options. Let us know which ones are your favorite of the six you've just seen in the comments section below. Or if you think there's any we've missed that we urgently need to get onto the feet of our reviewers. As always, please give us a like if you found this content useful and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you next time.